Students can get um, learn about plant biology, you know, and, and soils and nutrients and how plants grow. And, uh, we will be uh, raising some plants in here and putting them out in about three weeks' time. So um, please come back and uh, monitor the uh, garden progress. Watering them because I told the other guy. It's a hands-on outdoor learning yeah. experimental yeah. system. This is completely converted into a greenhouse. I mean, this this building was originally just for storage, and they did uh, they did a pretty, you know, good job in cleaning this yeah. place up. It looks completely different. I think the plan is eventually to start growing like actual food and use it in the uh, student activity center. They're going to learn about composting. They're going to learn about how you um, plant um, various crops, how you take care of them, how you prune them, maybe even how you graft them. Hands-on experience and the hands-on learning. That's part of education. The fans still need electricity, so I mean they're still burning oil from the grid to do that. Mm -hmm. So if you get just a couple of solar modules, and you don't need any oil. So mm -hmm. this place is, uh, this greenhouse becomes sustainable. We hope to have our own uh, gravity fed watering system mm -hmm. that uses algae and enriches the water as it, uh, um, with nutrients as oh. it waters the plants. I think it's really nice. It's more outdoorsy instead of main campus. Where it's just, you're running like an ant going from point A to point B. There's moments in time where I just, get out earlier than my classes just to like sit on the grass. So, you know what? When we go home, we encourage our parents to recycle and if we see them putting something in the wrong garbage bin, we, we tell them and we, we, we're spreading the message.